Oh gosh, okay. Hey, oh, two. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the... Okay. Well, happy Mother's Day, all you mothers. <laughs> happy Mother's Day, everybody. Everybody's affected. It's an existential thing, mothers. Uh, gonna do a little vlog, a little old and new. Because hey, it's Sunday, Mother's Day, Sunday stuff existential thing. I was, at one time, I was trying to look at what is the oldest religion? Because Islamic is to 600 years after Christianity. Christianity is after Judaism. And then if you look, older than Judaism is, well, Hinduism. I just got up another parameter in my head. It's, it's, we had our Mother's Day yesterday. <laughs> so, I went to brunch and then I just went to the movies that last night. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, I'll have to do a review on that. But, uh, <laughs> it's a pretty good movie. Um, anyhow, the oldest religion before, see, the oldest religion, the parameter was still practiced today. But, because if you go, Egyptian is even older then, you know, they believe what they, that's a religion for them. So you gotta get out of, outside the box. But then, you know what comes up is Neanderthal. That's like 40,000 years ago, Neanderthal. They're still human. It's like actually still the same species, thinking of Planet of the Apes. Homo sapien, sapien, modern human echo. <laughs> But Homo sapien Neanderthalus, you're actually still in the Homo sapien category. The, you know, so that's a subspecies. Anyways, that for you. Like Cro-Magnon is not this different species. Hey, no interspecies stuff going on. Mm -mm. <laughs> so Homo sapien Neanderthalus. And what about Neanderthals? They came up with a pottery figure, and I'm pretty sure it dates back to that age. You could double check me out there. Anthropology. It's pretty well known. It's a Venus something. <laughs> it's just, there was this like big, uh, overly portly woman with big, um, mama sons. And it's, uh, it's a, it's a, uh, what do you call that? Clay. <laughs> long day. Long day. Clay. It's clay. And it lasted a long time. It's about that um, amount. So they figure that they oh, 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 worship, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. or at least severely revered, because there's like this little figurine, um, and it's the oldest thing. And uh, Neanderthal, it's pretty amazing that they're doing that stuff. They're, they had some type of belief thing going on. And um, it's. They figure a fertility, fertility. <laughs> Where's my coffee? They figure they'll say for fer, fer, fertility thing in anthropology all the time. Hmm. But really, it's Give like. Give it back. You shouldn't be here, Teresa, surgeon. Okay, Ghostbox is going off here because it is Mother's Day, and that's the whole point of this. It's not like fertility so much as. It's who gives birth. Like, oh, miracle of life. <laughs> it comes out of the mommy. So they figure, basically, it's a mommy worship thing. It's the cult of mommy. <laughs> it's the mommy cult. Is the, is the, okay, goodbye. <laughs> Not really. It's like, a cult just means like a small amount of people. It's a, the amount of people. Religion is bigger. Denomination is it doesn't mean bad, but it's basically it's mommy worship is probably the oldest religion humans have. So happy Mother's Day. 
<laughs> I think we should go to a little bit of old. There's a lot of, lot of stuff in the news. Well, we'll take a look later. But it's old and new. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. In nominus Dio Patre, Fulini, Spiritus Sancti. In nominus Dio Patre, Fulini, Spiritus Sancti. Venus Sancti Spiritus. Venus Sancti Spiritus. Venus Sancti Spiritus. A little old, a little new, random. Let's see what's going on. Old. And here we have light Isaiah. Oh boy. Uh, Isaiah um, 3. What's this one? 16. The Lord said, Because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with outstretched necks. It's what I want. Because that's what she wants. Glancing wantonly with their eyes. Oh. Mincing along as they go, tinkering with their feet. The Lord will afflict with scabs the heads of the daughters of Zion. And the Lord will lay bare Are you scared? their secret parts. I'm scared now. Thank you, God. Whoa. Okay. Mm. That doesn't sound good. Uh. New? With rubric. X. No rubric. Oh, no. There's a little rubric. So we can do this one. Okay. We went to Mother's Day thing and there was like four generations, four generations of mommies. <laughs> <laughs> this is Acts. 2217 Paul sent to the Gentiles mm. after I returned to Jerusalem and while I was praying in the temple I fell into a trance and saw Jesus saying to me hurry and get out of Jerusalem quickly because they will not accept your testimony about me and I said Lord they themselves know that in every synagogue I've imprisoned and beat those who believe in you and while the blood of your witness Stephen was shed it's here mm. I I, uh, I, uh, I, I, uh, uh, I, I myself was standing by, approving and keeping the coats of those who, can't understand. who killed them. Bedroom. And he said to me, go, for I will send you far away to the Gentiles. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, let's just put this over here for a second. Okay, yeah, uh, Mother's Day. There's lots of, you know, I think the best thing to do is keep this short. There's war in Israel because they're fighting and using bombs. I guess everybody is mustered in Gaza, the southern part, which is just across the border from Egypt with the Rafah crossing. And they're all there going, you better go there because you're going to get out. And now that they're all concentrated there, it's like, okay. Now the terrorists are hiding inside those people groupings, because that's what terrorists do. We're gonna bomb inside Simon, Simon says. So that's the big tussle. They're wanting to go do that. I don't know. They're probably just they're just gonna do it. They're trying to oh uh, cease fire, and I don't I didn't hear of any hostages. So they're all bickering about that over here because it's good campaign clamp. Slobber, clobber, slobber in time. Yeah, there's slobber over that stuff. Because look what they did. Anyways, yeah, boom, boom. Out go the lights for over there. What else is in the news? Oh, yeah, Trump trials. Oh, the one thing about the Trump trials is the Supreme Court finally made a decision opinion saying that, you know what? Presidents should not have complete immunity to being prosecuted for crimes while they're president. No. Oh, thanks, Supreme Court, for taking so long and delaying everything else to say, because all the other court trials are delayed until they did that. And by the way, Supreme Court, it's your job. Killed. Not to kill. <laughs> it's your job to look in the Constitution, which says presidents are not immune to prosecution. It says if they get impeached, impeached simply means thrown out of office. You're just kicked out of the office. You're, you can't be in that office. You're out of that office. That's all impeached is. But if they're impeached, the Constitution continues saying Stop recording. it doesn't mean that they can't be prosecuted for crimes. <laughs> I mean, it says it. Paraphrase, it says that. Okay. It's 642. Thanks, Mickey. Taking so much time. Oh, look. Stuff in the news. Hawaii's got news, too. Look. See?
That's it. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> oh. Something about crunch. Let's see what's what's happening in Hawaii this week. Oh, I gotta do that. Oops. There you go. Hawaii crunch. Housing crunch, rather. The housing crunch is not that there's um, anything but sticking a bunch of houses in a little bit of space. Because divisive legislation, which is legislation they use to divide things. Have you been before? <laughs> Have you been before? They're talking about Ghost Box is going. Uh, more accessory dwellings and residential zone lots have been concerned about packing. They're just. They're just trying to jam a bunch of stuff in like a house. It's supposed to be a house in a yard and they just jam a bunch of stuff. And it's like, just, it packs the neighborhoods and they're just like, uh, there's parking and there's all these people at parties all like, Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Oh, wow. This is like broken or what? Okay. In the, in the sports, this guy's like, uh, Yay! He won. <laughs> so this is, this is basketball. Uh, Kamehameha won over Punahou. So this guy is giving this um, mom, giving his mom a hug. <laughs> no, this, this is the other guy. Uh, hi, Harry Zen. Harry Zen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's what that is. They they won. Wahini. This is one to look. Keep watching. Oh, Rainbow Wahini uh, water polo. They're kicking butt too. And um, Punahou and track. So it's like a lot of. Oh, that's that's one of the things I used to do. Shot put. I'll be save us. You give them. Uh. You know, just a little, little, like back in the day. Just relax. Remember back in the day in 1962 when you wanted to relax? You just go to the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes new complex that they're building. Is this where? Is this where Caesar lives? <laughs> this is the view of the Sheraton Maui nearing completion at Black Rock in <laughs> Ka'anapali Ka near Lahaina shows the usual structure nesting against the cliff. So that's kind of against the cliff. Soaring balconies overlooking the seacoast. $1.2 million project includes golf cottages near the beach and a marina. 1962, so that's like tons of money. And we're all fired up. <laughs> fired up for. Um, oh, making swords. Oh my gosh. A lot of Japanese culture coming over here. Now we're making some resource soup. Oh no. Uh oh. Seth Trakely avoid altitude sickness. Uh oh, that's nice. <laughs> oh, here we go. Zoro, the mark of Gen Z. So I guess they're, they're, whoever gets the Gen Z votes is sitting pretty in the presidential election. Gen Z has gotten presidential election status. <laughs> Gen Z. Young adults are keys. And they don't like what Biden's doing in Israel. Uh oh, and it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. There's a oh, chocolate globe. Is this one of those things that's it's like a chocolate thing? <laughs> so Mother's Day. Oh, Mother Earth, right? Oh, okay. Uh, Mother Earth. Sorry. Mother Nature, Mother Earth, Mother Hen, Mother. Forget what I'm going to say next. Okay, what's this one? Ooh. Okay. What is that? Make a white pono again. Oh, I can't believe they're doing that. Weird word. U.S. does not value Palestinian lives. Palestinians in the West Bank have been subjugated under brutal military occupation. And yes, apartheid for 57 years. Why apartheid? Gaza has been under full land, sea, and air military blockade for nearly two decades. This in itself is an act of war. The French resistance were considered heroes. The Ukrainians resisting Russia are heroes. The leaders of murderous Jewish terrorist gangs became prime ministers of Israel. President Joe Biden has given the green light to Israel for open season on Palestinian civilizations. Listening to US spokespeople stumble around trying to justify this genocidal massacre is incredible. Clearly, Israel and Ukraine lives are far more valuable than Palestinian lives in the eyes of the Biden administration. Paul, hold it. Uh, Kanioi. There you go. Oh, right, right by the military base, huh? Brave of you, Paul. <laughs> what are we doing here? Um, yeah, I don't know whose lives are worth more. Let's see. Let's calculate the cost. This. 
these kind of things, you know, whose lives are worth more, kind of, in the other administration. Uh, but, um, what does it say? Uh, subjugated under brutal military occupation and apartheid for 57 years. So, they're going like the creation of Israel and the Palestinians are, you know, landlocked because it's, there's the Mediterranean Sea on one side. <laughs> so, it's all blockaded. God. And, oh, they're trying to secure borders and apparently Palestinians are like, get Israel out of here and they're buddying up with Hamas, which is the ruling structure in this little quote state. Anyways, you get it. The Palestinians, they're, they're in the UN going, we want to be recognized as a country, you know, a state, a country. And the, the UN General Assembly went, mm, no. Probably because they're in the midst of what they're in the midst of. That's not a good idea. Wait till you guys are done with your thing, eh? So, so anyways, let's just say Happy Mother's Day to Earth and Mother Trees, Nature, and all you mothers. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> okay, time to time to go. It's 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 a nice day. I got it. Oh, oh look, aloha to you, aloha to you, and you. Okay, hello, happy morning.